Welcome back to another client product comparison. I'm Lucas Eddy, and today we're going to be looking at our lineup of snow riding boots. We're going to start from my left, your right, and go up in price. We're not going to go through super deep details. We're just going to go a quick overview and show you how this whole lineup stacks up because as we build out our options, it can get more and more confusing to figure out what is the best for you. So over here on my far left, coming in at around $300, we have the Aurora GTX boot. This is a women's boot designed primarily for crossover type riding. So what that means is you can use it for mountain, you can use it for trail, you can also use it for actual crossover riding. It's a very versatile boot. It can do a lot of different types of riding, keep your feet warm, keep them dry with Gore-Tex construction. Laces here, nice and simple. Everybody should know how to tie their shoes and a nice Michelin outsole here. I think at this point, all of our, almost all of our boots are using a proprietary climb mold of a Michelin outsole. So. Lots of features that will kind of transfer throughout all these boots. You'll see thin slit over and over again, synthetic insulation, and Gore-Tex over and over and over again. I shouldn't have to mention it for every single boot. It's all in here. So we got the Aurora GTX boot for the ladies. And then at about the same price point, we have our classic Adrenaline GTX boot. The Adrenaline, if you guys know, is one of those boots that really cemented Climb as a boot manufacturer for snowmobiling. We really made our name making these boots and We've released a new version here, which we'll get to later. There's also a full walkthrough on that, but we're keeping this one around because it still works well. It still is a super solid boot for that price point. And of course we have the Gore-Tex construction, 3M thin slit insulation in here, nice tall lace up structure here so you can really cinch it up how you want. And then of course a nice rugged rubber outsole here to help get some traction in the ice and the snow on your running boards, all that stuff. This is a primarily mountain focused riding boot. If you want to ride snow bikes, we have something for you there. If you want to ride trail with this, no problem. You can do that too. But for trail type riding, a little more uh, lower aerobic output oriented riding, we have the Clutch GTX BOA boot. Full walkthrough on this one and the redesigned Aurora GTX BOA boot. So these are new for 2023 fall. Lots of cool features on them with the new BOA. Uh, new construction here, new lacing routing, all kinds of new stuff in here. But super solid crossover oriented boot. So. If your feet get cold, wear these in the mountain, wear these trail riding, wear them wherever you want. These will solve a lot of your problems getting cold feet. These are really warm, really comfortable. Now, same thing just for the ladies, the Aurora GTX BOA boot. Same concept as the, cross as the clutch boot here, different liner on the inside, but the features are the same. So there's a full walkthrough on this. Check that stuff out as well. Now, new for 2023, also full walkthrough on this boot. This is very much an aggressive mountain riding focused boot, the Adrenaline Pro S GTX boot. S can stand for support, we can say. It's got a lot of uh, aggressive mountain riding features like these covered eyelets in here and the pass through here for the lace to keep these from getting snagged. Lots of good durability throughout this inner construction throughout here. Again, Michelin boot, Gore-Tex, 3M thin slit, you name it, it's all in here. And we're super stoked on the breakaway BOA feature. I won't show you this right here, but in the walkthrough video for this, you'll see these BOA dials can actually break away and you can put them right back in in the field. It's a fail safe to keep these from actually breaking when you're in the mountains. So super feature packed, aggressive mountain riding focused boot. If you're not an aggressive rider, is this not gonna work for you? No, of course it's gonna work for you. I'm just saying we really built this with those top level riders in mind. So if you're not a top level rider, but you still like to have fun, this will work for you big time. Last on the list is the Havoc GTX boot. This is a snow bike specific boot. You can see it's taller up here, a little bit more like a dirt bike boot. You can fit knee braces in this really well, give you some pretty good complete coverage across your shin. And it's got some key design features to make it more focused for snow biking rather than just for snowmobiling. Now, to be fair, I wear these on snowmobiles because my feet don't get that cold. And I like the way these boots feel. I, I like the way they fit. I like that they're a little bit taller. But the point is, there's a lot of snow bike oriented features on here, like this pad here, which is also on the shifter side to keep some durability going for your toe against the shifter. We've got the dial for the bow up back here so it's not gonna get snagged by your foot pegs or if you're dabbing on the front of your boot, on the front of your foot pegs or on the back of your foot pegs. So this has been a super popular boot for us throughout the years, both on snow bike and just regular snow riding. Again, with that Michelin sole, Gore-Tex construction, 3M thin slit, all the features are here as usual. We've got the little D-ring here, which all these boots have to hold your pants down so they're not riding up, you know, like some high waters, like some kid that has pants that don't fit him right. So that's a quick run through on 
our boot options right now in the fall of 2023. If you guys have any questions, hit us up in the comments. Find us on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, all the social medias. We are there. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.